Hello, I hope you are well. How's your learning so far? Do you still remember a three factor model that we have learned earlier? The three factors are market, size, and book to market ratio, right? The three factor model is published in 1993 by Pharma and French. Today, we are going to learn another model, which is an extension from Pharma and French model. This model is known as Carhartt four factor model, developed in 1997, four years later. What a coincidence. We are going to learn how unique is the fourth factor. Stay tuned. What is the fourth factor? In 1997, Carhartt added a momentum effect to the three factor model as a tool to evaluate mutual fund performance. The title of Carhartt's journal is On Persistence in Mutual Fund Performance. This journal is published in Journal of Finance in 1997. You are strongly encouraged to look for the original article and read. This slide shows the Carhartt four-factor model. Besides market return, firm size and market to book ratio, a fourth factor is added to the Pharma French three-factor model. Momentum is calculated from the difference in returns on a portfolio of stock with high return over the past year and a portfolio of stock with low return over the past year. More specifically, Carhartt formulates the momentum variable as the return on a portfolio with the highest past return minus the return on a portfolio of stocks with the lowest return. What is momentum? According to the definition of Bode, Kane, and Marcus, momentum is the tendency of poorly performing stocks and well performing stocks in one period to continue that abnormal performance in the following periods. This means good or bad recent performance of a particular stock continues over time. Momentum can also be defined as the tendency for firms with positive past return to produce positive future returns. In contrast, momentum can also mean the tendency for a firm with negative past return to continue with negative future returns. Momentum is somewhat related to a strategy long used in practice called buying on relative strength. Momentum means there is a positive serial correlation in short horizon returns. Stocks that have been doing well in the recent past continue to go up. What goes up tends to keep rising. Therefore, it's good to buy on winners. On the other hand, stocks that have been doing poorly in the recent past tend to go down. What goes down tend to keep falling. Therefore, it's good to sell on losers. From the coefficient of the momentum, MP, we will be able to know whether the manager is a momentum trader. If MP is larger than zero or positive, the manager follows a momentum strategy. If MP is negative, the manager follows a contrarian strategy. If MP is equal to zero, the manager does not follow a momentum or contrarian strategy. We will learn more about momentum and contrarian strategy later. Carhartt finds that momentum is positively related to future returns. He demonstrates that the typical factor sensitivity for the momentum variable is positive. Its inclusion into the Pharma French model increases explanatory power by as much as 15%. Carhartt finds that much of what appears to be the alpha of many mutual funds could in fact be explained as due to their sensitivities to market momentum. I hope you have learned something from this video. See you and goodbye.